Question 3 from Paper 1 of the 2022 Higher Physics Examination from the SQA. A spacecraft unloads cargo on the surface of the Moon. The gravitational field strength on the Moon is 1.6 newtons per kilogram. And then you have the diagram there of the spacecraft on the surface of the Moon and the ramp is at an angle of 34 degrees and the package has a mass of 3 kilograms as it moves down the ramp. Now all you're asked to do here is find the components of the weight of the package acting parallel to the ramp and you're given your 5 choices. Well first of all we start off with a quick picture of the ramp as it is there. And we know that's going to be 3 kilograms and we know that the angle of the ramp is going to be at 34 degrees. So that angle in there is 34 degrees. Now to help us understand the uh, the forces acting on that uh, package, it's always better to draw a wee kind of like axis like that parallel to the ramp as shown. And we know that the weight is going to be the force that's going to act straight down like that, the plumb line weight, mg, acting straight down. And as you know, you can split that into components. Uh, one of the components would be perpendicular uh, to the ramp. Another one would be parallel to the ramp. And that's the one we're asked to find. We're asked to find this force here, which is parallel to ramp. And ultimately, that's the force we're going to take it down the actual slope. So that's the triangle we have there. We have Mg, we have the force which is going to be parallel to the ramp. And because of similar triangles, if this angle in here is 34, then that angle in there must be 34 degrees as well. So there's a triangle. That's a right angle. And all we have to do is just work out the force parallel to the slope, which you know already uh, is going to be Mg, the weight of the package, times sine of the angle of the slope. Now, all we have to do is put in the weight, but you have to be very careful here because we have done maybe quite a few of these problems and we've always done them on the planet Earth where G is 9.8. This time we're on the Moon. So the G for the Moon, the gravitational field strength, is 1.6 this time. So for a mass of 3 kilograms, it's going to be 3 times and it's going to be 1.6 times sine of the angle, which is going to be 34 degrees. And that's going to give us a force parallel to the slope. And when we work that out, we get 2.68 newtons. And since we're dealing with two significant figures through our calculation, we have to have our answer in two significant figures. And that's going to be 2.7 newtons. So the force acting down the slope is 2.7 newtons. If you did that question and you forgot you were on the planet, uh, on the surface of the moon, sorry, and you thought you were on the planet Earth, you would have got an answer of 16 newtons. So be very careful in reading the question and realise where you are, because if you're in different heavenly bodies, the gravitational field strength will be different. So the answer is going to be 2.7 newtons. Answer is going to be, in this case, B. Question 4 from Paper 1 of the 2022 Higher Physics Examination from the SQA. Two blocks are suspended from a ceiling by the ropes as shown. And we're asked to find which row on the table shows the tension of the rope at point X and the tension of the rope at point Y. And we assume in this case that the ropes are massless, so they don't come into the, the calculation at all. Let's take a look at the system that it is there. 12 kilograms and 15 kilograms. Now, if we're going to try to find the tension at here, the tension in this part here, then the best thing to do is just imagine that that tension is pulling on a system made up of 12 kilograms and 15 kilogram blocks. And that will give us a total weight equal to mg. So we can see from our diagram there that we're going to have the tension in the at point X is going to equal to just simply the mass times the gravity because the blocks are not moving and therefore the tension TX is going to equal to, equal to the weight mg. So we plug in our numbers for that. We get the total mass in this system is going to give you 27. So it's 27 kilograms times 9.8. And if we multiply that out, we're going to get an answer of 264. 0.6 newtons. And since we've been using two significant figures, we can say that the tension at point X is going to equal to 260 newtons to two significant figures. So you can see we're going to either, either have D or either have E. Now, what happens when we look solely at the block, 12 kilogram block? Well, we can remove all the uh, weights and tensions like that. I'm going to look at the 15 kilogram block. And when we do that, 
we just isolate that. So we isolate a 15 kilogram block. You can see that we're going to have a tension, which is going to be Ty acting on that system. And we're going to have the weight acting downwards from the system as well. But this time the tension Ty is going to equal to uh, simply just the mg and the mg is going to be just made up of one mass which is going to be 15 kilograms so what we have in this case then is we have tension at y is going to equal to mg because it's not accelerating it's stationary therefore ty must equal mg and in this case m of the system is going to be 15 kilograms 15 times 9.8 so that's going to give us a value of 147 newtons. And once again, we put that into two significant figures. That's going to give us a value of 150 newtons. So the tension at point Y should be 150 newtons, and the tension at point X should be 260 newtons. And that's going to give us an answer here of E. Tension at point X, 260 newtons to two significant figures, and 150 newtons at uh, tension at point Y.